Hello, and welcome back to another episode of What's the Point? This show is all about trying to get to know organizations all across UWSP. My name is Max, and today I have with me two people from Pointer Studios, Amini Hoff and Maddie Larson. Overall, I do want to start off with asking you guys, how did you, or why did you join Pointer Studios? Um, do you want to go first? Yeah. Well, this happened about three years ago when I was a sophomore. Um, I didn't start with a media major, but I ended up going into that field and, and I really loved it and I loved everyone and I wanted to be more involved. And I found out about Pointer Studios and at the time it was SDTV. Um, so I joined as an anchor and and I loved it and I did that in high school and I, I wanted to continue with it. And I ended up getting onto the exec staff and I've made it up all the way to general managers. <laughs> they kept me around for a while and mm -hmm. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it started as I was actually roommates with the current general manager uh, three years ago. It was my sophomore year as well. Mm -hmm. And um, she kept coming home ta talking to me about like oh my gosh we did this today we did this we did this and i was like this sounds super fun i was i kind of knew what i wanted to do but also was super like all college kids at some point was like i don't know we'll see and so i i joined i started as a general member then eventually got up to be one of the producers and i really love just making con content that i would enjoy but also that i thought other kids on campus would enjoy and now I've worked my way up to production manager. So yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh, and as I kind of alluded to earlier, uh, we just did a kind of rebrand away from SPTV to Pointer Studios. Why did you guys decide to rebrand? There was a good few reasons that we decided to do that. Um, we've been kind of working with it for the last year or so, um, away from just the SPTV label over to the Pointer Studios. It's more of an umbrella term because we have so many different like little branches underneath um, our studio and we wanted to be all encompassing of that. So in addition to, you know, SPTV news that we have, we have film society and YouTube group and sports point and um, entertainment shows like this. And we just wanted to have a broader term so that everyone can be involved. Yeah. A lot of it really came down to, because the organization was initially like strictly news based and ran like a true, like, news station would we did cover sports and some entertainment but not really and we just kind of got to a point where we realized that that's not really what we as a staff wanted to do anymore so we thought like hey why don't we try and make it something that not only we would enjoy but also like we had friends on campus who were much more interested in films and were much more interested in live broadcasts some were interested in news but not all so we wanted to in order to help the organization grow and like actually like get more kids involved, we wanted to have more options for uh, people to become a part of. Nice. I mean, like, it's just, it's always good to have more options and just to grab people's attention by having a nice umbrella mm -hmm. of a company. Uh, overall, what kind of content does Pointer Studios create? I mean, what don't we create? Yeah, that's, at that's a big point. question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you have, do you have enough time, Max? <laughs> I mean, I, I I mean, I guess to start with the original branch, SPTV. SPTV still kind of continues that traditional news station um, format where we do uh, news shows that cover specifically events and um things going on on campus and stevens point things that are more important for students to know less kind of like wider wisconsin and national because that's what regular news is for <laughs> um and we also do shows like like this like what's the point we have a couple other shows like a cooking show or a game show that we're working on and we also do a sports show our first episode of sports point just came out it was it's so good you need to go watch it <laughs> And we also cover live broadcasts of sports games and all that sort of thing. Nice. Uh, how often do you guys do this sort of content for like the people who want to see more of this? Uh, for SPTV, it's at this point, it is a bit more of a weekly basis. We are talking with producers about maybe changing that because we are really wanting to put out quality over quantity. We want to make sure everything we put out is something that we can be proud of. 
But at this point, it is looking at either a weekly or a bi-weekly basis for news, sports, and entertainment. That is not, however, the case <laughs> for our other two branches, if you want to get into that. Yeah, um, so Film Society is kind of going on a basis of participation. Um, so right now, we have fun, some fun projects coming up, including the 40-hour film festival, um, which is set to occur on the October 27th weekend. Um, that is open for um, students and people under 25 years old, I believe, um, to participate, um, which is super exciting. It gives a lot more people opportunity to show off their skills and just try new things and get awards and show their content. Um, and then uh, we also have like I options for pitches if people want to put in their like pitches for uh, student short films um, and then those can be made and you know as soon as the pitches come out we kind of decide on when those are going to be produced um, so those are kind of up in the air yet um, and then we have YouTube Society, YouTube group as we rebranded um, and that is set to I believe have the first meeting on the 20th of September um, 6 30 I believe Mm -hmm. um, and those will probably be a bi-weekly as well, um, as people, you know, feel the need to come in and sort mm -hmm. out their content. Um, what else am I missing? There's Actually, just so much. Yeah, I'd say the biggest distinctions are, uh, I, SBTV is the one that meets uh, more, more often. With Film Society and YouTube Group, they're much more 100% based on general member interest. Where, like for Film Society, that's all student directed, student written, student made short films. So that really depends on how many students are interested and how many people we get coming to us, like with scripts or wanting to direct mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And with YouTube Group, it's much more about how working together with like different organizations or individuals who want to get more into YouTube and figuring out how can we help them make their YouTube channels fit like their yeah. needs. So, if you're looking for like to like something to do every week, I would say SBTV is kind of like your go-to. Mm -hmm. Where the other two, like when we do produce, there are big productions that can take place over several days, mm -hmm. but they are less frequent, yeah. I would say. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, like a general kind of under thing of that is like, what does it take to produce all of these things? Like you said earlier, uh, all of the film society stuff is like student run. And I assume that like, a lot of the other productions need help behind the camera and in front of the camera too. Uh, so yeah, just generally how how much does it take to produce these kinds of uh, medias? There's, it takes a lot. First of all, it takes all of our exec staff to get these things all in order. Um, and what's really important for me is communication. Mm -hmm. um, you can, um, any student can reach out to the um, pointer.studios at uwsp.edu email, it's a mouthful. Um, and then the, that'll get sent out to all of the staff. So if people have specific questions about being involved in film or news, they are able to reach that producer. Um, and just keeping people like in the loop is the biggest mm -hmm. thing that I've found. Um, because those producers do send out like newsletters every week on how you can be involved and what times. And it's really just important if you're doing um, and there are any entertainment shows or um, film that you're being in contact with your producer and having deadlines set and making sure that you know everything's in order. Mm -hmm. I think a big thing too that um, I want to like make sure that people know about um, for your students is that you don't need to have any prior experience if you're a general member to be a part of any production, whether that's news, uh, live broadcast, or with a short film or whatever. If there's if there's like a specific facet that you want to learn, like we'll like usually me or someone else on the production team will teach you how the equipment works. Or if you're kind of like, I'm just interested in it all, we'll still find things for you to do. And our job as exec staff is to teach the general members how everything functions because it can be kind of scary going into your first shoot and you don't know how any of the buttons work. <laughs> Something that's really exciting for me is um, that we're trying to do with news um, is that we're having general members come in and pitch ideas for news packages. Um, and since a lot of people are new and general members are coming in kind of unknowing of how to do these things, um, we're setting up uh, like times next week to mm -hmm. have meetings for training and things um, so students can come in and learn the ropes from us, which is, which is really nice. And again, like the nice thing about us having the three branches of Foyer Studios 
is you can get involved as much as you want to get involved. If you just want it to be like a, you know, one day a week when I'm free, I'll go help, you know, film something. Or if you're someone who wants to have more of a commitment, you can do projects with all three branches or you can pick just the one that interests you. So you can really kind of customize your own involvement in Pointer Studios, which I think is really cool in comparison to some other organizations. You already know the last question I'm about to ask. What is the point of Pointer Studios? For me, um, something big that I really want for Pointer Studios this year is to have everyone on staff and general members create things that they're proud of and like they can take out into a career, career field and show off their skills and everything that they've created, whether it relates to media or not. Mm -hmm. That's the point for me is just having people create things that they're passionate about and they really like and enjoy and want to share with the world. Mm -hmm. I think for me, a lot of it is there's so much untapped creativity within the student body of Stevens Point, like just in terms of like, you know, people I've met like through my classes or around campus. And I, Pointer Studios is really like a fun like playground to really like go with that creativity. Like if you have an idea for a film or for a show or for a news package or anything like that, like Pointer Studios is the place to come because we will do everything in our power to bring that to light, to give you the tools that you need and the experience that you need to really create something that you're proud of and that no one else can make is kind of what I think is the cool thing about it. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, that's amazing. Where can you, where can we find you guys online and or sign up? UWSP Pointer Studios, YouTube, S uh, Student Pointer Studios, UWSP Instagram. Uh, we also have Facebook and we're gonna have a TikTok um, the best place to reach us is our email, pointer.studios at edu. Sorry, pointer you can do, you can do this. .studios at uwsp.edu. That is also our email, a little answer to that. And I believe we do still have a spin page, yes, correct, too. You can find do. us on there. That will also like give you uh, our emails and everything mm -hmm. like that, but it's another way to reach out. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys again for joining me. Uh, this was a wonderful first episode mm -hmm. to have you guys on and just knowing all about this new SPTV Pointer Studio era. Uh, really excited to see where this goes. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode of this season of What's the Point? Uh, if you ever want to come down and join us for another episode, uh, we will be having newsletters every once in a while to try and get more people to come out and help. Uh, hopefully you guys found another wonderful organization here at UWSP. And have a safe evening and a good night.